You spend over a year's time doing your homework, applying for a tag. It's your first bear hunt. You're two miles back in. Luck strikes. What do you do? Hello there, we just got lucky, killed a nice six foot brown bear, came into a call this morning for one of our hunters, and uh, beautiful bear, nice big bear. I'm going to spend a few minutes today, I'm going to teach you what it is we're looking at, how we're going to skin this bear out. Uh, we're going to spin it out, or skin it out rug style. So, <laughs> as you can see, this bear's beautiful, got a beautiful chocolate coat, a little blonde on the nose, great big old melon. We're gonna take a look, <coughs> and I'm guessing, I'm guessing by the paw size, we got about a five inch paw there. So we're gonna add one inch to that. That's what this bear's gonna skin out, about six foot. Six foot for the taxidermist. But uh, anyways, we're gonna get started. <coughs> I'm a little allergic to bears, which is kind of funny. But what we do is we lay this bear out on his back like this. Now this particular bear is a boar, as you can tell by the genitalia down here. Now, <laughs> there's a lot of different knives and things a guy can use, uh, and I bring a couple with me. But believe it or not, I like these thin edge, kind of flexible knives for skinning bears. Well, skinning just about anything, actually. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to cut this bear. <laughs> and if you notice here on the back, we're going to cut him from the back of this back paw down, and there's kind of a line here, down just below the tail or to the anus. We're going to cut him back of this paw, just down to the anus. And there's a natural line here, which allows you to cut. Then we're going to work keeping the genitals intact. We're going to work up the center. We're going to run this bear up to the throat. And then we're going to work straight across here on the bottom side of that paw, or the bottom side of the arm, right to that paw right there. And then back in here, kind of forming a cross up top here. Anyways, that's what we're going to go ahead and do. And uh, I'm going to get started right now. Best not to try to hack it, just kind of run with it if that makes sense. This bear's got a lot of fur left from winter. See, we got him right there. Now we're going to get that other side. Again, right below the tail to the end. So we got him cut right there back of the legs to the back of the paw. Now we're going to go ahead and cut straight up the center. <laughs> Some people keep the genitalia to one side. I like to split it right up the middle. Here we go, we have proof of sex for the fishing game right there. See how I'm just smoothly working that knife up? Next cut is going to be from down here. And again, we're right to the bottom of that paw. See that? Oops. 
through the armpit, up the back, right through that paw. get down to these ankles is when things get a little bit tricky. <coughs> you need to skin all the way around this back paw. Alright, once you peel back, you need to peel all the way around that back quarter. Get it all the way down here to this ankle down in here. Right in here we cut those tendons all the way around it. And then we twist. And if I got all the tendons out, it'll come all the way around in a circle. You can hear it breaking. About like that. She's broke now. Got one more little tendon there. That's the tricky part right there. Then we continue to skin back on the quarter. I like to work a bear one half at a time. So I like to work on this particular bear. Our left side will work first. So I can lay that whole hide out, keep that meat clean, and then uh, once I'm done getting all the meat off this left side and the hide off, then we'll go ahead and work on the other side from there. So We got that back leg is skinned out now. Now we're working on this front paw and it's going to work very, very similar to what we did in the back here. You can see we skinned it out all the way around. Skinned it all the way around. We're getting down on that joint. See, and when you cut into those ligaments, you can tell, you can feel that thing pop and move. You're in the right place right there, see that? And we're going to cut that all the way around, break those tendons, and again, we might have it where we can twist it. We do hear everything breaking in there. Twist her back the other way a little bit. Oops, still got a little bit of tendon in there. If you don't cut all those tendons, they don't come off right, so just got to keep cutting. Keep cutting until you got nothing but bone. And by golly, we got the second piece off there. Now we've already cut up the neck a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and skin this thing back to the backbone. All right, guys, we got her skin back to the backbone. Uh, bears do have a tail. It's not much of a tail, as you can see here. But we're going to go ahead and hack that tail off if we can. Sometimes I need a saw, sometimes I don't, but we're down here on this tail end. We got the fur off. There we go. I'm going to cut myself. So we got that tails off now. So we can go ahead and start taking each quarter off. I'm going to start with this front quarter. Real simple. We hold the leg up, start cutting. It's always amazed me the front shoulder on these animals. Uh, it's basically not attached to anything. Be careful not to hit the hide. That's our most important part. Okay, we got some fat holding us up. Bingo. See how I've created that workspace out of that. Now we can bone off of there, do whatever. I'm going to do the same thing in the back side. Get the tenderloins, the back straps, and then we'll flip this barrel over and repeat. We're working on this back quarter now. Back quarter is a little different than the front. See that ball joint right there? Maybe we'll move in there a little bit. But this ball joint needs to be broken. See how we did that? And notice I'm using a different knife than I use for skinning. But we got that ball joint broken. Now we can take this back quarter off. Pretty much the same way we did the first quarter. All 
All right, we have successfully skinned out this bear. We're going to take the rest of this meat off. You can see how we've kind of got an inverted rug here. So we've used the rug itself to keep our meat nice and clean. I'm going to go ahead and remove these shoulders, get these back straps out of here and these tenderloins out of here, and then we're going to cut that head off. We're going to start packing this animal out. All right, folks, now it's time to take this head off. We'll have ourselves a nice bear rug. We're going to go ahead and let the taxidermist take care of the lips and the head and all that good stuff and the paws. Uh, obviously, uh, they know exactly what they're doing. We make a mistake. Of course, the taxidermist yell at us every now and again. So we're going to go ahead and cut. Keep skinning up the neck. We're actually pretty good right there. But I'm going to keep going just a little bit more so we're not packing so much meat with us. It's a little bloody. This particular bear got shot in the front coming into that call, so he's a little bloody up here in the front end. Okay, we're going to go ahead and hit that. And just like you do on your elk and your deer, now we're going to cut the meat and the esophagus all the way down to the bone. All the way around. Always amazes me. There really isn't that much left when you get done, is there? Huh? But uh, now at this point, you can take a saw if you'd like to, or you can try to just spin it if you like to. Today, I'm gonna take a saw, so I'm gonna grab my saw real quick. Just hit a real, real light, just a nice little meat saw. helps to use the right tool. Anyways, at this point in time guys, got a little bit of carcass. We got a beautiful bear rug. Alright guys, there's two of us down here today so we got three quarters of the bear boned out in one pack. We got a quarter in the back straps, tenderloins in this second game bag. We're going to go ahead and fold this bad boy up, skin to skin. Take these front legs, back legs, fold it all up into a ball for us. <laughs> go ahead and set her up pretty well just like that, clean her off. This is a really big bear by the way, if you look at that ear. Those ears are small. Nice big boar we killed today. Last day of the hunt. We're gonna put the packs on, we're gonna start moving, get back to the truck, see if we can't process the rest of it, get this bear checked into the fishing game. That's all there is to it, folks. Now we gotta pack this bad boy up, clean her up, and uh, go out and see if we can't get another one. Hope that helped you. This is Mark Shooty with Stockton Outfitters. Thanks, be safe out there.